Greetings, friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Tell Puckett here, and I wanted to show you um, this. The fretboard is walnut with solder burns, and I have these nails. These are white nails. They're glued in there, but look how shiny this. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. That is just from sandpaper. I got this thing down to two, 2,000 grit, and it's just smooth as butter. And um, yeah, I got the regular tuners on here. I use my new Fosner bit to precisely cut those holes. And you can see here, I, I did take a layer off of the top here so that these tuners can sit in there. And when I did there, I left the blade curvature of the blade and I try to line it up symmetrical so that it looks right so large solder burns nails oh and this is an oak oh yeah one thing I wanted to point out look at this green pattern this is just luck because see it's a two-piece So all the way through the back here, that grain just ab absolutely 100% lined up. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. All right, so we are routed out for the piezo, routed out for the pickup. Um, here is the pickup. It's that distressed looking one. I get all my parts at cbgiddy.com. In fact, in fact, real quick, public public service announcement there's a little flyer um yeah thank you guys seriously thank you guys for using my affiliate link and um it's that link that you go to and if you use my if you use my affiliate link and you buy parts at cbgiddy.com then i get a little commission and i'm telling you what man it, it adds up anyhow thank you guys for supporting this channel i wanted to show you the box that this guy is going to mate with. Um, this box here has got like a fabric over the top here. Watch it, I can lift it up and like stretchy. And uh, I was real careful when cutting out these, cutting out the, um, yeah, because if you rip this, then the whole thing will come separated. In the past, I've used um, this stuff here. Watch in. In the past, I used this stuff here, this Mod Podge. And it's just kind of like this clear glue that you just paint over the whole thing. And it just att attaches the whatever fabric it is to the, to the wood underneath that. That's actually a, a good, good idea. Um, I was doing great up until I cut the hole for this guy. And you can see how it's... How it's, um, I mean, I repaired it, so you really can't tell, but it out here, uh, right up here on the top. See how it's kind of ripped right there? Yeah, so the drill got a hold of that thing and just spun it around and just ripped it. And I was like, ah, dang it. So stop, stop, stop. So what I ended up doing was cutting out a, um, making my own little pickup garden. And of course, I'll glue that thing down. I might paint it to match this. These here are the shower curtain rings. And I got that hammered. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of hammered paint. It makes it look like it's been hammered. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but um, that's these things. And of course, they are glued severely on the inside, so these things are not coming out ever. Um, I did put the uh, traditional blocks on the bottom there. Um, so yeah, so whenever you cut in this fabric. You have to, have to, have to beware because you only get one chance to mess up <laughs> after that is screwed up. So I'm going to cut a little slice first, just with a razor, just a little slice exactly where I want the hole that goes through to this, um, this guy here. Because if I drill from here that way, that drill's going to pop out here on the back, catch that fabric and just rip it. Um, that's... That's been my experience. So I'm going to be preemptive. I'm just going to cut a little X here and then I'm going to drill this way and therefore preserving this, it's like felt fabric. 
So yeah, so in the future, definitely this this is gonna get if, if this guitar ends up in the hands of a player, then yeah, it's it's gonna get trashed because if you start if you start scraping this thing with your pick, dude, it's just gonna rip. And even even your just hard playing at all, it's gonna it's just gonna tear it up. It's gonna tear it up literally. So uh, anyhow, I just wanted to give you guys an update on this guy. It um, it's turning out rather well so far. I mean, I'm yeah, I'm really digging. I'm really digging the looks of this thing. So, stay tuned. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.